it's uh, going to be about the composable index templates. Um, I'm going to explain what we have. And we call that also uh, index templates version two. So what's wrong today with uh, legacy templates? Um, so legacy templates are, are also known as index template version one. Uh, are easy to manage if you have one template, but when you want to have multiple templates, it means that you will have a lot of duplication of those uh, templates. Having a lot of duplications um, implies also a lot of um, consequence, like having a bigger uh, cluster state. Also, uh, if you want to update your templates, for example, and have two replicas instead of one, then you will need to update all the templates that you that you have. So get the template, modify it, save it. So it's a lot of work. Or maybe you can use uh, multiple templates to compose a final one, but this comes with a consequence, like merging templates uh, you, uh, can produce um, invalid settings and mappings. And this is something that you will discover only when the index is created. And the, the, the problem with that is that because you don't have any validation, your index creation can fail in production only at the moment when the index is going to be created. And everything is also much harder to maintain so you don't know exactly which templates are going to be applied. So it's, it's, it's kind of difficult to predict. Instead, we wrote a new version of the index templates, we, which we named officially composable index templates. So the same principle applies as the index templates we have seen previously. Uh, we apply the index template at in index creation time, but index template must be valid. They are not merged which means that we are only going to use the one with the highest priority. And how do we solve inheritance then? We solve that with component templates. Component templates are um, components basically, which defines optionally index settings, mappings, and aliases. And you can compose your index templates with component templates. As a consequence of that, everything is predictable, stable, and super easy to manage. So we are going to cover that. Uh, in a demo, which is running here on uh, cloud.elastic.co. And uh, I will also share uh, at the end of the session the repository I have been using for uh, this uh, presentation. So let's switch to the index management part. So here, I'm in the index management uh, uh, of the Elastic Stack. And if you go to index templates, you can see that we have here the, the new templates uh, feature and also the legacy templates are available here. And you have access to the component templates. So let's first add a component template so you will see how it works um, actually. So let's give it uh, a name. So I'm going to call it something like test settings with uh, no SLA, for example. And here I can provide index settings, mappings, and aliases. So let's just provide some index settings. Here, I want to set the number of replicas to zero because I have no SLA for this uh, kind of uh, uh, index that I want to use. Uh, and let's review the content and create that component template. OK, so I have my component template here, which is not in use yet. And let's create a new component template. Let's call it times uh, testing a test, sorry, a mapping for timestamp. So this time I'm not going to provide any index settings, but I'm going to provide mappings. So let's say I want to define the content for a timestamp field. That will be a date here. Okay, we add this field. By the way, you can see that you can edit the definition of the field. You have advanced settings and all those things. So if you want to support formats like this one, for example, you can do that and just oops, sorry, update this. OK, next, no aliases, sorry. Next, review and create. So now I have those uh, component templates. I'm going to create over component templates, but instead of doing that manually, I'm going to go through the dev tools. 
So here, this is the same thing that you have seen in the UI, but you, you can do that also by using the Elasticsearch APIs. So here I can create a, a, a settings for a small index, so one shard, and a settings for a big index, like five shards, for example. And then a settings for production SLA, so I want to have one replica, for example. I want to create also a component template for um, an IP address in the mapping, so this one. And then something a bit more complex for postal addresses, for example, I have to define an analyzer, and then I want to use this analyzer in my uh, schema, then I can do that. And also a template for an alias. So this is how everything works. So let's generate that. OK. So I have all my uh, templates now, uh, component templates sorry, available. So let's have a look here at this. So we can see here all the, tom the component templates which are available. So next step is to create actually an index template. So to do that, I'm going to create a, a, a first template named test simple. Why not? You need then to specify what is the index pattern for it. So test dash star. And then go to the component templates. And here you can choose which component template that you want to apply. So let's say that I want to have a small index here for this one with no SLA, with a timestamp, a mapping IP, and an alias, for example. You can preview the index template. So this is going to be uh, like this. So this is the composition of the, the component that uh, we defined uh, previously. And you can also uh, provide an overload uh, index settings if you wish, or add over uh, mappings, why not? Like a text uh, field here, which is text format. And then review the template and create this template. OK, so now I have my test simple uh, template available. Uh, let's create an, a new template. Let's create test overwrite, for example. And let's apply it again to test dash star. Um, so let's choose some uh, component templates. Again, a uh, small one with production SLA this time, uh, mapping timestamp the IP and the alias, why not? And let's review this and let's create a template. So here we can see that we have some validation. We cannot create this index, uh, this template with the same index pattern as we have seen before because it will overwrite basically test simple, but we did not set any priority. So Elasticsearch cannot know which template to apply. So here instead we need to provide a priority, for example, this one, and say, OK, this one has a higher priority, so this one will be applied then. If we create the template, now it works. OK, so let's have a look at what will happen then. Uh, if we go to the DevTools again, there is a super nice API that I will uh, encourage you to use, which is the Simulate Index uh, API. When you provide uh, an index, like TestFoo as the name, then you can check exactly what is going to be applied in production. So we can see here the effect of the, the test overwrite uh, template that uh, we, we are using here in that case, because we have one replica, we can check that here. So we can see that we have the mapping and all the things that we are expecting. And one important uh, information here is that we know in advance that we are actually overlapping the test simple. So test simple could match as well the same index pattern but we are overlapping it because we have a higher uh, template uh, in that case. And then finally, when you want to update some settings, instead of having to, again, get all the index templates that have been existing, you can just uh, update the component template. Like here, I'm setting for a small index the number of shards uh, to two instead of one. And if I check again what is the effect of it, I can see that the index templates uh, have been um, uh, changed as well. And thank you for your attention, and see you soon. Bye.